Hi guys, today I want to show you the easiest and the cleanest way to install the Google Play Store on your Windows machine. So there is this project on GitHub website. It's called WSA Builds and it's basically Windows subsystem for Android and it's an open source project. So um, this is my preferred way of installing the Google Play Store on my machine because unlike the Android emulator, most of them have a lot of ads and they keep pushing those uh, promotional apps, which I do not like. So let me show you how to install it on your machine. So if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see um, under downloads, we have the option of installing this on Windows 11 or Windows 10. So I'm going to select this first option since my Windows is 64-bit. Uh, if your version is different, uh, select um, a different option. So let's click on this. And now it's going to take us to the um, to this page. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you'll see a few versions that you could um, select. So I'm going to select the first one since this one have the Google Play Store. Now other packages have different options. So this one does not have a Google Play Store and some of them are rooted as well. So let's click on this first one and let's wait for the uh, zip folder to be downloaded to our machine. Okay, so once it's downloaded, let's open the location and let me just close these. And you should see this uh, zip folder. I'm going to right click on it and just extract to the same location. And I'm going to rename the extracted folder. So I'm just going to call it WSA just to make it shorter. Now you could just leave it the same way it was. Okay, so once it's um, unzipped, let's go inside the folder and let's look for a file name um, run.bat. So it's this one. And what this one will do, it, it will uh, open the command prompt window and it will execute the um, files. So you might see this window. So just click on more info and click on run anyway. And you should see this command prompt window. Now I need to mention that you need to have virtualization enabled on your machine for this to work. And you should see this dialog. Now, once it says all done, then that means it's complete. So let's close this and let's um, click continue, which will launch this Windows subsystem for Android. And now you should see that Google Play um, store um, sign in screen so let's click on sign in and let's enter our google uh, account information if you do not have uh, an account just sign up for one it's free okay so now i could see the google play store and i'm going to um, um, scroll a few things so i could see all the apps and I could see all the games. Let's install a game from the top chart and let's test it out. So I'm going to select this subway game and let's install it. And let's click on play and it should launch the game. And I have to say that this is really fast and it does not lags at all. And the graphic is amazing. And I do like it a lot because um, there is no extra stuff that gets installed on my machine. And that's why this is my preferred way of um, having the Google Play Store on my machine. So let's go back and let's close this. And now for, um, if you go to your Windows button, you would see all the apps that you install under our apps so I just installed this one now you could see um, the Google settings and the Google Play Store and the Windows subsystem for Android so you could launch them from here and yeah that's all I wanted to show you thank you and I will see you on the next one